In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to create the Soraya Auto Script step-by-step. Step. So if you click this link in the description down below, this will take you to the written tutorial. We're gonna go through this from start to finish. Remember, this is only for Mac users. Windows users, I'll find a solution for you soon. So first of all, the Serato Auto Q script automates adding cue points in Serato DJ Pro. It has the cue points in the following places, at the start of the track, end of the fourth bar, and at the end of the eighth bar. If you want me to create another one that suits you, let me know in the comments down below. Before we get into the first step, I just wanna say a few things. You run this program at your own risk. It completely works on my computer, but it doesn't mean it's gonna work on yours. Before you run anything like this, make sure you back up your computer. You never know what could happen. Don't change anything in the code unless I say so in the tutorial. If you change anything in the program I don't tell you to and your computer happens to mess up, that is all down to you. I'm not responsible for anything that may or may not happen to your computer. With that out of the way, let's get into step one. So step one, you need to install Homebrew on your machine. If you wanna know what Homebrew is, please check out the documentation on the screen right now. So you need to open up your terminal by pressing command and space and typing in terminal. This will bring up this window. Copy and paste this command here. Step two, we need to install a package through Homebrew, which is called CLI Click. This is gonna be the thing that moves the mouse in the auto queue program. Again, in your terminal, copy and paste this in. Step three, downloading the script. In order to download the script, click download zip. Unzip the folder and to open the Apple script, all you need to do is double click it. Step four, simply just open Serato DJ Pro and create a crate full of tracks that you wanna queue up. Make sure all these tracks are analyzed, otherwise the program won't work. Step five, click Q at the top here. This will ensure that the Q points are set on the grid correctly. Step six, ensure that the beat jump controls are switched on. To turn these on, go to settings, DJ preferences, control preferences, and show beat jump controls. Step seven, and this is the most important part. In order for this script to work, the mouse needs to be able to click the beat jump forward button on its own. So you need to get the mouse coordinates where you want the mouse to click. To do this, on your keyboard, press Command, Shift, and 4. This will bring up a cross with coordinates. Place this cross over the forward beat jump button and take notes of the numbers. The top number is X and the bottom number is Y. With the numbers you've got, go to the Apple script and update the beat jump forward X and beat jump forward Y numbers. Step eight, open up Serato DJ Pro and click the first track in your crate. Step nine, go to your Apple script and press play. This will give you a pop-up asking how many tracks you wanna queue. Step 10, enter how many tracks you wanna queue up and watch the program do its magic. Just a few things when you're running the script. Don't move your mouse or press anything on the keyboard. The keyboard and the mouse are gonna be moving automatically. If you happen to press the keyboard or move the mouse, it may interrupt the script and your cue points won't be set correctly. Also be smart about this. Don't try and do a thousand tracks right at the start because you won't be able to use your computer. So the first few times you use it, maybe do about 10 or 20 tracks and maybe edge it up to 100, but don't do a stupidly massive number like a thousand or 10,000. This may cause you problems if you run too many songs at once. Now, obviously this program isn't gonna be 100% accurate because we all have different songs in our music library, but this is how you create the Serato Auto Q script. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments down below or hit me up on Instagram at DJC underscore B and I'll be happy to help you out. Now that you've watched this video, check this video out here where I go through all my crates in Serato DJ Pro. I'll catch you in the next video.